Hi everyone and welcome to Nutty Chess Tips with me Nutty T. Today I'm going to show you a refutation of the Blackburn Shilling Gambit. I had this a couple of years ago played against me on chess.com and I got absolutely annihilated. So I analysed a few games um, that I had with this Gambit and found a little solution that you might find interesting. So I'm going to show you the game I had where I got absolutely annihilated and then I'm going to show you the game that I refuted. So as usual, check it out. First off, the opening goes as follows. White e4 and then black responds with e5. I then go knight f3 going for the scotch gambit. My opponent went knight c6. I went bishop c4 and then I was expecting either knight f6 or bishop um, c5 but my opponent did this uh, tricky little move knight d4. I just go for the pawn so I did this move and my opponent did this tricky little maneuver with a queen g5. I wasn't calculating very well and I went knight f7 looking at the fork with the rook and the queen. My opponent did this devastating move queen g2 gutted only move i could do was rook f1 my opponent went queen e4 no matter what i do in this situation i cannot protect i went bishop e2 my opponent checkmated me on f3 with the knight alternatively if you protect with your queen you lose a queen with knight e2 so how to deal with this gambit my opponent went with the devastating move queen g5 i went on the counter attack instead of knight f7 i went bishop f7 now your opponent can only move to e7 or d8 if your opponent moves to d8 i just recommend castling pushing your pawns and playing chess in this game my opponent went e7 now what I recommend here, you just castle to get out of danger. And my opponent saw my hanging piece on e5 and takes a knight. I then take their knight on g8 with the bishop and they take the rook. I then move the pawn to c3 to kick their knight. My opponent retreated to e6 with the knight. I then proceeded with a barrage of pawns with f4. My opponent took because then I continue my barrage with d4. My opponent then took the e4 pawn and this is already a losing move. Boom! I pin the queen with the rook and my opponent resigned. Now what can black do in this situation? Your opponent will usually go e4 with the queen. What I recommend you should do is push your pawn to f5. Now again if the knight moves to any space we pin with the rook so that is not a good move if your opponent's king moves we then take the knight they take 
and then we start pushing and developing pieces and playing chess. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and let me know what you think in the comments below. It's nice.